If you think about it, how many cakes mixes for an 11 by 15 pan? In this regard, you must first find out the volume of a cake pan. To do that, multiply the cake pan's length by the cake pan's width, or the cake pan's height. For example, an 11 by 15 inch pan that is 4 inches deep has a volume of 660 cubic inches. Because of this, use the right height that you expect the cake to end up at. Especially when you bake the cake pan size in question, hence, this is for the depth measurement of a cake. Also, most bakers distinguish orders with regards to quarter sheet, half and full sheet cake pans. In this regard, it is indeed a handful of various sizes. Because of that, it would help to discuss the size of each. Hence, you can figure out which sheet pan size will be the most suitable for the application. For the most part, cake mixes list instructions for 8x8 pans to 9x11 pans. For this reason, it isn't easy to know how much cake mix to use for an 11 by 15 pan. So with that, you can refer to it as a sheet pan that can feed about 20 people. But, you can conveniently calculate the cake pan's volume. In addition to that, you can convert the cake pan's volume. Usually, you can find it on the back of the cake mix. So, in that regard, you can determine how much cake mix you will need for an 11 by 15 sheet cake. How many cakes mixes for an 11 by 15 pan? Take note that you will need two cake mixes to fill an 11 by 15 inch pan. For this reason, the two cake mixes will make the cake an inch thicker compared to the single version. So with that, make sure to increase the baking time by at least a few minutes. Keep in mind that if the cake mix attempts to overflow in an 11 by 15 cake pan, the best thing to do is to pour only part of the double mix. After that, discard the rest. In addition to that, bake the cake in a cake pan on top of your baking sheet to prevent spillage. Moreover, keep in mind that the size conversion can be confusing most of the time. One approach to simplify it is to decide which pans have widths or lengths distinguishable by one another. For instance, if you have a full sheet pan that is 18 by 24, find a half-size pan about 12 by 18. Also, it would be best if you got a 9 by 12 quarter pan. The main reason is that those numbers divide equally into each other. How many cake mixes for a half sheet? Ensure to use only one cake mix for a half sheet. In addition to that, you should use only one cake mix for a thin sheet cake appropriate for layering. Likewise, use one cake mix for a bar style cake. For these reasons, their volume will spread throughout the cake pan to create a thinner cake. Also, think about the cake batter's volume. For instance, if cake mixes are insufficient to attain the cake's height, the most effective approach is to beat an extra egg into the cake mix. With this, the eggs help leaven the batter. Not only that but also, it causes the cake batter to rise higher. Nevertheless, the eggs add liquid volume. How to choose the right sheet cake pan? Essentially, you must always consider the sheet pan's size. Also, it is best to keep in mind that you can measure sheet cake pans. You can do it with the formula of length x width x height. Besides that, bear in mind that the depth or height of sheet cake pans ranges between 1 and 4 inches. Moreover, the cake pan's depth is exceedingly important when dealing with a double layered or single layer cake. So with that, if you want multiple layers, you have two choices. First, use two shallow pans for baking two thinner cakes. The second is to use one deep cake pan. Do this to make a tall cake that you can cut into layers once it cools completely. Likewise, if you desire a single layer cake, it would be best to use a deeper pan. Furthermore, it would be best to use inches to describe the cake's size. However, there is no standard definition of quarter-sized, half, or full sheet cake. In addition to that, you can use a sheet pan extender. Using this increases the cake's height. Besides that, it helps to avoid the cake batter from overbaking. And at the same time, it makes excellent straight edges. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.